Welcome back to Capital the Post Apartheid Factory. As promised in the last video, Mr. Kiam Clint Strauss. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, today is the 27th of August 2021. In the room you have Jason, myself, the team leader. We have Naeem, uh, the Hello. customer advisor. And then we have Kiam, who is the operations manager. Um, just for the record though, Naeem, are you okay if we record this session? I'm this fine session? with the recording if I can get the copy as well. Yeah, that should not be a problem at all. Um, the reason for this particular conversation today is because on the 5th of August 2021, yes. um, we received uh, an email from Transport yes. uh, just to notify us of an incident that happened. Um, yes. And this particular incident happened, I believe it was on the 4th, which was the day before. Was it on the 4th of August? 4th of August. Let me just confirm that for you, just bear with me a second. Yes, that was on the 4th of August that that particular right. incident happened. It's a transport issue, yeah? That is correct, it is a transport related issue. Um, so, based on what happened, um, I'm going to read out to you, for the record, what the, what the message was. No um, and this was sent from one of the drivers. Yes. Um, so, let's have a look. So, the message reads, Hi all, see below the account of a trans transfer done on the 4th at Atrium. At approximately 17.40, sorry, 19.45 p.m., I transferred five passengers on the route to Mitchell's plane. The passenger sitting next to me had his earphones excessively loud. I then asked him in a very polite manner to reduce the volume. The passenger ignored me. Approximately 15 minutes later, I requested again for him to reduce the vo volume, which again I was ignored. I told him he was being very disrespectful. The passenger became very irate and started becoming antagonistic towards me and that I was the problem. About 30 seconds later, when I stopped in front of his house, there was about seven of his associates waiting. As I pulled up, his behavior escalated into a more threatening demeanor. He got out, and as he did, he started using very foul language. This continued in front of his associate, associates and became much more threatening to a point that I felt my life was in imminent danger. One very specific point he made was that I can escalate the matter, and he did not care. On a note, the word care was not used. It was more blatant, and once again, foul language was repeated with a point made that he had no care about the outcome of his behavior. As I stood there and waiting to log off, he repeatedly banged on my vehicle very profusely and told me to F off. Quoted, this was a very stressful and traumatic incident for me, and one that cannot be passed off merely as an unfortunate or unpleasant. I hope the necessary steps will be taken in order to avoid this type of behavior, which could lead to a much more serious outcome. Regards, and then the name of the driver, which we will not disclose for now. Um, so you can imagine that when we receive this, um, you know, correspondence from HR, um, that we, you know, were alarmed. I was a bit alarmed when I first saw this, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> and I believe you were the last person dropped that evening. Yes. Um, so, from your side, I just want to find out what happened, what transpired, um, and just to kind of get your side of things. So, can you please just elaborate on that particular evening? It was the, the fourth, if you can recall. Yes. Um, the only reason why it's taken this long as well, just for the record, the reason why it's taken this long, it's because we were going to have the conversation with you on the fifth, but you then fell ill, and you were not at work for about yes. two weeks, two and a half weeks. Yes. Um, and that's the reason why we're having this conversation at no. this moment. No worries. So once again, just for the record, can you please just provide your side of the, of the, of the situation that occurred that particular night? No worries at all, leader. I'm Naeem Malik, Customer Service Advisor for Hive. Um, 
Yes, indeed, I was wearing my earphones as I usually do. Um, was sitting in front of the van. Um, I normally do this. I normally have my earphones on, as this is my way that I unwind after the, after the day. So I've never had this particular issue before. Um, the gentleman had mentioned that he uh, had asked me in a polite manner. Um, had this been the case, I uh, I would not have ignored him the first time because he was rather patronizing and his demeanor was rather irate in the way that he approached me. I did not appreciate the manner in which he asked me to um, switch off my music and that is the reason why I ignored this gentleman as I thought to myself, I'm not going to react to you sir as this is a ridiculous request. You can turn up the volume of your radio in the, in the van. Okay. That was my logic to thinking rather. Yeah. Right. Um, I actually have a witness. Zenith, uh, she is in one of the teams. She was dropped before me. Um, you guys can speak to her separately <laughs> and ask her my demeanor in the van, how I was behaved, and if I had, in fact, provoked the gentleman at all. Okay. You, can, <laughs> you can do that. So, um, going further, he did make the request again. Yes, I then looked at him, I then gave him a show, and I told him, why should I lower the volume of my earphones? It's on my head here, on my, on my ears. Yeah. Um, you can turn that up. But like coming back to the way he approached me in the first place, I thought to myself, no, 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 you don't approach people in that manner. Okay. He then went on to say that he had a hearing problem. And that I am, I am just blatantly disregarding him. I said, I then said to him, my brother, had you told me in the beginning, look, I have a hearing problem. I know it's a bit ridiculous of me to ask you this, but can you lower the volume of your earphones, please? Because it's, it's affecting me. Okay. And I would lower the volume of my earphones. I don't want my driver to be affected. He needs to get me home. So, that, is, that was my suggestion to him. And I must admit, I was very sarcastic with the man. Extremely sarcastic as a result of him approaching me in that manner in the first place. There okay. is a manner in which you approach people and make requests, especially if you do not know them from a bar of soap. And he did not do that. He approached me in a very disrespectful manner. Hence why I ignored the man. We got to my home and he was continuing to go on. And I, well, I was just trying to get the logic through to him that, my good man, please, that is not how you approach people and ask them to get things done. We do not know each other. This is the first time we're encountering each other here. And you came through patronizing me, just telling me as though I should just go with your flow. It does not work like that. However, there is a manner in which you can approach somebody and ask them kindly. I've traveled with many, many drivers. I've never had an, a problem with them. Some of them are talkative. I talk to them. Some of them just drive and do their job. I keep my earphones on my head. That's my story. So, he felt as though his life was in danger because seven of my associates were standing <laughs> on the street. <laughs> he dropped me at the shop. Yeah? He dropped me at the shop. There is a buy there. It's always busy. There is always people standing there. I got out. And... Um, they were unpleasantries. They were unpleasantries exchanged. But um, he continued to remain there. Okay. And I did not touch his vehicle 
and do things to his van, hit and threaten his life, had that been the case, it would have happened immediately, with immediate effect. Why would I allow this man to stand here if my intention is to harm him, threaten his life, as he so mentioned? So, this man, in fact, could potentially be guilty of a defamation of character in this instance. He is, in fact, um, how do you say, fabricating the story so that he looks like the victim in this instance. Oh, I was aggressing him. Oh, I was going to have people hurt him. His life was in danger. If your life is in danger, let's just work out this logic. We, I tell you guys now, guys, there is a bomb here. Are we going to stay in the situation or are we going to try and get out of it immediately? We will, logic dictates, we will try and get out of the situation immediately, as fast as possible. This man chose to stand there. So you tell me, does it make sense that I was threatening him and he chose to stay? It makes absolutely no sense to me. Yes. The people that were outside, do they know you? They know me, the, the okay, people who live in my that's area. That's a good question, alright? When you got out of the van, were you arguing with the guy? I was arguing with him. Okay, so rationally, alright? Yes. If you know these people, you get out of the van, alright? Yes. And you're arguing with this guy. Right. Obviously, these guys, if they're your friends, they're going to stand up for you and they're going to argue with No, none of them said a word. So you're saying that's not rational? No, none of them said a word. None of them said a word. None of them threatened him in any way. It was people standing still. Standing still. Doing nothing. Just there as we normally are in our community. There's not much places for us to go. Okay. So they are there. No, then you, then, then you know about this. There's, there's not much places for us to go. Look, they are just fact, there. I know for, for a fact, as somebody who grew up in Joel's that if there is commotion, all right, firstly people are very opinionated. Yes. They're yes. going to give their opinion. Definitely. That's not believable that you know these people, mm -hmm. you win an altercation with somebody, yes. and they keep quiet. That doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know what to say to that, Chief. Look, if they said something, that's fine. That's nothing they to said do. absolutely you nothing, held, Chief. You can't be held liable for other people's actions. Definitely. However, in this instance, nobody said anything to the driver but me. So everybody kept quiet and they were watching the interaction? No interaction. Just standing there. Oh, so there wasn't an interaction between you and him when you got out of the van? Uh, that's what I said, yes. I was, yeah. I was going on with him. So they were watching the interaction only? They were... The interaction didn't last too long. Okay. I got out of the van, told him, thank you, you may leave. Okay, and that was your exact words. So you that was not my exact words. Okay. Um, uh, but I told him to leave. So what was your exact words? Could you please uh, just get out of the area? Could you please get out? Was that your exact words? That was my words. Did he record the, the interaction? I don't know, I'm asking you why. I'm asking if, if you've got any evidence with regards to the words exchanged. Okay, so let me explain to you quickly, all right? Uh, this is not a court of law, first of, first of all, all right? And we work on the balance of probabilities in order to assess whether somebody is guilty or innocent, all right? This is only a fact-finding mission. We're not here to assess whether you are guilty or innocent. We're only trying to ascertain what the actual facts are. Yeah. All right? I can tell you now, all right, there's somebody that grew up in Mitchellsburg. Right? I find it not believable that if I took it out, yes. my friends were there. Yes. I can tell you now, at least one of my friends would have said something to have my back. These are not 
these people were not my Even friends. Acquaintances, people that they are acquaintances. Area. They live in my area. Yes, exactly. And um, me as a person, I don't allow other people to fight my battles for me. I don't, I don't allow such things to happen. I stand my ground. I, if it is I have an issue with somebody, I take it up with that person. Don't jump in. Do not bully. Do not oppress. So they were standing there thinking, what's going on now? What's going on now? And they're asking me, what's going on now? I just said, nah, this driver, he's getting upset because I'm playing my earphones loud. He can oh, put his okay. music. So, so, instead of them saying nothing, they asked you what was going on. So they did say something. To me. Exactly, but they said something. They did not threaten the van in any way. The okay. people were standing still. And like you said, curiosity, definitely. It's, 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 it's Mitchell's plane. So I get out and I'm, they can see uh, I'm fuming. Naturally, they would ask me, what's oh, going okay. on? And I say, is going on because of my earphones. Nothing came off it. And they didn't say anything? They didn't laugh? They were more confused than me. They also posed the question to me, why didn't he put his radio louder? Oh, so they did give comments also? To me, personally. Yeah, but they were speaking, obviously. They were speaking to me. He was not there. He's in his van. Yeah, he was there. No, he cannot hear anything. He's in his van. He, 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 He stops. I get out. I tell him, please leave. He makes a little bit of a U turn. He stands there for a moment. He, stand, he, he stays there. And I'm thinking, okay, so what now? And in that moment, they ask me, so what is that about? Why, why are you going on with the, with, the, with the driver? And I tell them, he's going on because I had my earphones on too loud. Okay, Confused? So, so, so just take us back with you. Yes. All right. So he drops you off. Yeah. Right. And immediately goes. No. Okay, so he didn't immediately he go. He didn't immediately go. He's standing there to a point where I tell no, him. But you're saying he immediately left after he dropped you off. He made a U-turn and he was standing on the other side of the road. Isn't that yeah. What, what I said was, if I may. So. X is where I was. You don't have to say. All right. X, uh, I vote. Yes. He was on the side. He was so. He was over here. No, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. X. Sorry. Because this road is here. This is like a circle. So I'm dropped here. So and I tell him to leave, and he and he and he wants to make a turn so that he can come back out here. But okay. he's staying over here. So just reverse quickly. Yes. So he drops you off. All right. You tell him to leave. Right? He says nothing. He doesn't say anything threatening as far as I can remember. He says that he is going to escalate me. So I said, by all means, do so, sir. Escalate me for having my earphones on too loud. Because that is all I know that I, according to you... And that's all you said. What, what am I to say to, 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 to the, man? So the man? I've got a witness in the van as well who herself was so confused and baffled at the situation. Okay, uh, it's fine, but we're just trying to get to know what... So he drops you off? Yes. Because right? my understanding was there was an altercation. Yes, but Chief, so you... the altercation you consisted of him dropping you off, you telling him to get out of the area, and what did he say after that? He said he is going to escalate me. Escalate me. Okay, and that's yes. where he ended. Yes. And then he made a U-turn, and then he stood on the other side. On the other side. And at that point, your friends was asking you, What's what going on? Okay, yes. and he said, your earphones, and they said nothing. And the man was standing there. Yeah. 
And you guys didn't say anything to get him to leave. Why? No, I've already told him to leave. So now he's standing over there. And that's where it ended and he left shortly afterwards. Left? He didn't get hurt. Nobody threw burnt <laughs> at his van. Nobody did anything to him. He's Nobody pointed at him. Look, he's not Nobody. Uh, but to me, Chief, what sounded a bit when you, when you mentioned that you are from Mitchell's Plain and um, the associates, it sounded mm-hmm. like I... Like I was really aggressing against this guy. Like I am that type no, of person bad. that would 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 push for for such an action to say. be taken. Based say. on your based on no, you no. living in Mitchell's plane, um, no, no, chief. No. I didn't say anything with regards to aggression. I find it hard to believe yes. that nobody that, said that part, anything. The hard to believe part that, that they didn't that, that they didn't say react. anything. Yes, chief. No, so on that not on that point, chief. Not that that. Said anything. said anything towards him. Yes. Yes. No. No. no that uh, on that point, chief. On that point, particularly, I I don't um I don't operate like that, chief. It's not about what you operate. Yes, yeah, but but with them, with regards to them, whoever wants to say something, the, so it's not your problem. Why so are you getting involved? So where were these guys standing? They were all just standing outside. <laughs> they were just standing outside. I can show you guys on Google That's Maps. Right. If you'd like a street view um, of where it was. I just find it hard to believe. Look, for me, in the neighborhood, standing with your friends. They're not my friends. They are acquaintances, people who live in that area, community members. Exactly. Yeah. And somebody outside of the community is harassing somebody. Yes. You're not going to say anything? No, but that it, it would be, to me, it would be cowardice. To cowardice. It's cowardice to to but to um, try to defuse the situation. How are they going to help me? By asking the guy maybe also to leave. No. Do you know what I'm no, saying? Is no, that no, that no, no, no. We true? cannot we cannot but force people we cannot force people to do things against their will. That is unlawful. Oh, okay. I would I can't do, force him to do. You can make a request. But you told him to. Leave. I made a request for him to leave. Okay, so can't they also make a request for him to leave? They can, but they did not because it was none of the business. Maybe like, sorry sir, um, the guys obviously upset you. Right? None mm-hmm. of that. None, none, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. Nobody stepped in for that. I am... I, I, I do my own, my own thing. I fight my own battles. That, that's how people know me to be. If I request for your help, step in. But beyond that, stay out of it. So. And I know this how. But I'm a community activist. I speak to people daily. I know these people. I know them by name. I know their family history. I know why they are in this situation. Um, I know why they made the choices in their life. And um, where they desire to be, but as a result of where they are, it's a bit tough. So I know everybody in my community, I can say, if I don't know your name, I know your face. And I know where you are linked to, I know your situation, so I can understand how to address you, and how to extend perhaps an olive branch or boulder bridge, or see how I can help with the little that I have, with the little that I've gained, with the little that I know, how can I assist you? Because you look like you're a bit worse off than me, my brother. So, I speak to these people a lot. I, they know that's not how I roll. It's, it's coward to do that, man. Leave the people. I asked him, I, you saw I already asked him to leave. Who called they and sprung? Do you, do you think I can't handle myself? So, so all they asked me was, what's going on? Why are you going on with him now? I said, no, man. He's going on because of stupid stuff. Man. That was that. I love my life. I go on with my life. He is not worth me having to do something like that to him. Put him in that situation where he is feeling threatened. 
for my work, my bread and butter. Capita pays me, man. Why am I going to do that to this man now so that he can feel unsafe? I don't go out provoking people. He asked me, and like I mentioned, we go back to the, the manner in which he asked me in the first place was very, very patronizing and, and, and disrespectful. I didn't appreciate the chief. I didn't appreciate it. That's why I ignored this man. I thought, no, I'm not even going to respond to you because you asked me like that. He did not, however, ask again and again and again. He, the second time he asked, that's the time I gave him a hearing, I gave him a show and asked him, are you irritated by this? He's like, yes. He's irritated by this because I'm also ignoring him. I told him why I ignored him. And he told me, no, but he asked me politely. I say, that's not politely. I know politely. We in a call center, I know how to ask politely. He did not do that. Hence why I did not react to him. And that is my defense mechanism to not uh, get uh, physical or threaten people. I just go blank and I keep quiet. I ignore you. If you are going to act again on that, then I'm going to have to speak and say, now, what's going on now? And that's what happened. He came back and he asked me again. Do you receive uh, text messages from Capital? Um, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've updated my number. Oh. Yes, I've got a got a tablet. But I've updated my number on I think it was like a month ago, a month or two ago. And um that I used to get one time pins while I was at home. Oh, so you've not registered your number yet for capital again. Not what? So you don't get any it's not the one-time pins, and I'm talking about normal capital communications. Are you aware that you got a birthday gift? From oh yes, 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 yes. You I saw that. that. I, that I saw that today. Yes, I saw that message today. It came through, and they said it will be, it will should be delivered. So is that text from capital that you got? Yes. Okay. So there was other text sent as well around about that time, or maybe before, to say that um, it was actually before you took the van. Um, to say that um, nobody's allowed to use their mobile phone over there. Yes. Yeah. I was a director for some people. Yes. Not to use your mobile phone over there. Ooh. I don't know about that. Okay, I don't. I don't know about that. Can uh, may I get my device so I can so I can check that? You can get your device. It was seen quite a while ago. Yeah, can't remember when though. Like a month ago. A month ago. Okay, okay, if I may, um, I don't want to get my device now because I don't want to break the, 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 the flow of the meeting. Um, I can check. I can check for it there. But um, as far as I know, I listen to my um, music through a memory card. That's what I do to save battery on it. Um, I didn't use. My tablet in the van, in, 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 in the van. I use my tablet in the van. Yeah, there's a reason why they don't want that to happen. And it's literally because they want, first of all, concentration to be, you know, the people get dropped off. Yeah. Other people must their stops because they preoccupied with other things. Firstly. Yes. Um, secondly, also, if you have your phone, right, and you're riding, yes. right, potentially, my girl, whatever can see. No, definitely you're attracting an unnecessary attention, yes. Stuff like that. So there's a whole lot of different reasons why you're not supposed to do that. Yes. I'm just asking you if you're aware. Um, I was not aware of the the mobile phone story, Chief, to be, okay. to be honest with you. Um, because normally I don't use my mobile. But because it's a tablet, everybody can see my whole business when I take it out. So I don't quite like using it. I just keep it for the important communications. The earphones is 
it's a little memory card in there with music on. And that's what I sit with. I, I put it on, switch it on. No phone, no tablet, no connected to nothing. It's like an MP3 player basically, but it's just in the form of earphones. Okay. And I sit and I listen, drive home. When I see uh, I'm getting close to my place, earphones off. Right, okay, so, 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 whatever. It's, I, 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 I never, um, I haven't, I have an issue like that, Chief, in terms of not, not focusing. That is why I sit in front to, to start, so that I can watch the driver as well and see that he is doing the right thing. You know what, I'm be honest with you. Maybe when I'm driving and I look music in the car, it could become distracting. I'm not yeah. saying that you're distracted all of the time. That's essentially the reason why no, he's occupied or something else. Yeah, it is radio. And did he mention that as well, Chief? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm just saying. You, you know, having your thing in, you but obviously... But on my ears, Chief. I'm, I'm not really seeing anybody uh, listening to music, being attentive on the road, because firstly, it's not your job to drive. So we wouldn't expect you to be observant in that regard. Um, secondly, uh, when you got your music in, um, you know what, you're in the other world, you focus on the music, it's not like you focus really on the road, uh, if the driver, and sometimes you do get into your own world where, I've seen it before in the van, I mean, I've not really seen anybody that, you know, was listening to music and that is actually really paying attention because you're thinking about other things, maybe, yeah. Whatever, had a tough day, I don't know. Like, you know, there's lots of reasons why many, many you is. might not really pay attention to the route, and sometimes people drive past the destination. Yeah, they must have many times, yes. <laughs> I've been in such situations. Okay, so you've observed things like that. So I've observed things like that, definitely. However, um, coming back to the gentleman chief, mm-hmm. the manner in which he approached me. Uh, did not suggest to me that he had a, a hearing problem like he mentioned to me yeah. later. If he had, like I mentioned, I'm not a difficult, or I, I, I'd like to think I'm not a difficult person. I'd, I'd like to think that. In your opinion? In my opinion. I'd, I'd like to think that. I'd like to think I'm, I'm fair and just in, in, in terms of such things. So, had he told me, look, my brother, I've got a hearing problem, and, um, can you put that a bit softer because it's it's really affecting me um, you, you see here the, the radio is on but it's it's not still so so loud I would have been like no problem my man not a problem at all I appreciate that you didn't have to tell me that you didn't have to share that with me but I appreciate it because you at least I know, like putting my earphones off, I've never, not in my life, have I had that request, but from my mother in the house, when I am standing right, right next to her and keeping it off, because she does not like that. So, anyone else, ah, that was the first time I received a request like that. So, if your mother highlighted to you, and the driver, yes, that it was loud, yes, Telling me that loud music like that can't distract you. Loud music definitely can distract you. That's a definite. But look, that's irrelevant. That, 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 that's, that's just to, to yeah. like prove a point that yes, it can be distracting. And I agree, yes, definitely. It can you be distracting. In my opinion, yeah. my mother is my mother. She can ask me in any way and tell me whatever she wants to tell me, how she wants to tell me. This man is a random stranger. I would have appreciated the fact if he had to ask me in a more humane way, in a more respectable way, can you lower it? I would have, ac- I would have actually switched it off. Uh, how did he tell you? Uh, he was literally like this, tapping me. Like, as I'm, as, because I'm... Th- okay, so quick question. Your yeah. music is extremely loud. Yes. All right? Doesn't it make sense that possibly he might have been calling you and he didn't, and he didn't hear him? Yes. Oh, okay, so that's why he tapped you. Yeah, so that's why okay. he tapped me. I wasn't bothered about the tapping because I know that that happens 
So people shout and whatever. Isn't that annoying if you're trying to get somebody's attention and they can't hear you? Yes, yes, oh. it definitely would be, but then there are deaf people in the world also. Okay, and so sometimes we won't know that they can't hear. So he could hear, the music was loud, he's calling this person, I continued to look in, in this direction. Whoever knows me knows that. I, if I've got on my earphones, you're not going to get me. Okay. You have to touch me. Does the driver know you? No, and I don't know him. Okay. So, um, so when he, he tapped me, yeah. I looked, and I was like, hey, uh, what's up? Like, and he was like, can you, uh, can you what's up with this? I looked at this guy, and I was like... So, isn't it possible that after calling you constantly, yes. he maybe got a bit irritated... Yes. And maybe that's why his demeanor was slightly uh, changed. Putting. Yes, definitely, you definitely. Like but that would then be his own emotional state that he was in. Because I don't know him, he does I not know me. Being. So for him to get upset because he cannot, I cannot hear him, and he's trying to call me and I have music on, is, wow, it's beyond me. He yeah, can get he upset. That's it's it. Over, that that it's over time. had he stated from the beginning of the drive, ladies and gentlemen, I have a hearing problem, okay. such and such, or whatever the case may be, he didn't. So that is something that you would expect. If it is that you, if it is that this is the issue that you have, uh, yes. Okay. Tell, tell whoever is not familiar to you. So if you're going to play loud music, doesn't make sense also that you should have asked the driver, look, I'm going to play my music extremely No, loud. It's, it's, it's earphones. I've, I've, oh, never, okay. I've never ever had that, that issue. Besides if, what your mom? Besides what my mother, because she's, okay. she's old. They, um, they're reaching 70. So I personally feel that if you feel that, it should work vice versa. No, no. Um... In terms of in terms of in terms of my mother asking me or my mother demanding it from me, wow. yes. So does respect only go your way, not the other way? No, respect goes so both ways. Way. So definitely. So in terms of the way the man approached me, we just proved now that respect goes both ways. So he wow. disrespected me wow. to begin by tapping and. So how should he have gotten your attention without tapping? All right, so, he so he tapped you. and he told me in a very, very, how do you call this, patronizing way oh. that I should okay. switch, so turn, turn it off and he was very irate in the manner in which he did it. So, so since you explained now, Chief, that he oh. may have gotten upset, I understand I'm human, yes, you do get upset, however, this is a random person, okay. this is a strange person. Do you don't know your, the person. Who's driving you? He's driving me on. That's, that's his job. Okay. That's all he is to me. He must just take me from here home. Okay. I don't have to speak to him. I don't have to get to know him. Um, I did not disrespect him at all. I, that is why I ignored him. Because he disrespected me in the first place. I didn't appreciate the manner in which... This man approached me to get the music softer, and then I ignored him as a result, because I did not want to get upset with him. There is people in the van, they don't need this. Okay, so are you unwilling to see things from his side? The 100%, and, uh, and I actually like that email. You like the email? I, I would like the email oh, for, like for email. myself. As well, Chief, because this is defamation and an attempt to assassinate my character. Okay. Yes, 100%. So you don't think that, in your opinion, yes. like he obviously now has a refusal on Saturday yes. to drive on that route because he fears for his life. He fears for his life so now. You, wait, let me finish. All right, so are you saying 
understand. He doesn't have any grounds to feel that way. I'm saying 100% yes. Absolutely no grounds so, to feel that way. One more question. Yes. Right? If you were an activist and yes. for the people. Yes. Right? Are you only for certain people no. or are you for all the people? No. I am for everyone. Okay. I am for injustice. Okay. I am for wrongdoing. I don't care if you are yellow with purple polka dots. If you do something wrong, it's wrong. Um, but I am not going to bully you into anything or threaten you into anything. So in this situation, do you think you've done nothing wrong? I don't see sides.